Hello everyone, today I am going to explain physical thriller and horror movie Anarchy Parlor released in 2014. The movie begins showing five friends who went to another city for a holiday. They all go to a club and enjoy a lot. One of their friends whose name was Jesse tells them about another place where they can party. All the friends agree and went to that place. Here one of their friends Amy goes looking for washrooms. She comes to a room full of pictures of mysterious people on wall. She was looking at them when Jesse comes. He says that maybe they are the pictures of people who lived here. Amy agrees and they both leave. There a girl comes who had a tattooed body. She goes to Amy and asks her if she is American. Amy answers yes we are not local and are here for holidays. The party girl then goes to another friend and asks him to dance with her. She tells him that I have a tattoo parlor and I actually am a tattoo artist. The friend shows interest and says that I also want a tattoo. Amy and his friend leaves the place and followed the party girl to her tattoo parlor. They both became very happy to see it. It had a lot of tattoo pictures. Amy asks her about them and party girl surprisingly answers that these all tattoos are made on human skin. Amy gets surprised and thinks that she is joking. The party girl then calls her master and here we see a muscular tattooed man. He was a tattoo artist. He sends Amy's friend in basement saying that party girl will take care of him. He then asks Amy what kind of tattoo she wants. Amy tells him that I want a tattoo which will remind me of my past loving moments. The artist becomes happy and he appreciated her saying that he has not seen someone like Amy for a long time. He further says that people only want tattoo for fashion but no one realizes its true power. They just want to copy popular designs and not those which reminds them of something. He gives a book to Amy and asks her what tattoo he wanted. Amy then asks him about tattoo pictures on wall that are they really made on human skin. The tattoo artist replies yes, they are made on human skin. On the other hand, Amy's friend somehow faints in the basement and here Amy also becomes unconscious. They both came to their senses after some time and found themselves tied up. Amy's friend started crying and asks them to leave us. He says that I'll give you a lot of money in return. Artist says that I only want your sin, not money. Amy starts screaming so Artist comes to her and says that don't worry, I will not do anything to you. I like you and you will soon work on me. You will be my assistant and we will together expand my work. He then goes to Amy's friend and separates his arm skin where a tattoo was drawn. He then cuts his back skin and also cuts his ears saying that my dog likes human ears a lot. He feeds his dog with his ears. His assistant takes all the skin upstairs where they will draw special kind of tattoo. Artist then makes a cut on his thigh so he could die of bleeding. Amy cries a lot and screams, but no one could listen to her. She couldn't do anything either as she was tied up. Next morning their other friends realize that two of them are missing. Jesse tells them that they went to get a tattoo with that party girl last night. They all became worried and decided to find them. Here artist comes to Amy and says that I'll make a special tattoo on your face. It will look good on you. Amy asks him to let her go. On other hand, we see Amy's friends looking for them. They searched every tattoo parlor but couldn't find them. While passing through a street, some teenagers started teasing them. Jesse gets angry and hits those boys. His friends calm him down saying that we need to find Amy first. They all leave and came to that same tattoo parlor. They meet the artist so they asked him about their missing friends. He says that they both came last night but left after getting a tattoo. Friends asked him about the party girl. He replied that she is my assistant but she's not here now. They all believe him and left. While leaving one of them noticed a picture of Wall having same tattoo as his missing friend. But she ignores her thoughts and leaves. Artist now comes to Amy and tells her about her friends who came here looking for her. Amy asks him what he wants from her. Artist says that I'll leave you and you will work for me soon. He then asks Amy to look her face. Amy sees her face in mirror and cries a lot. He had made a tattoo on her. On the other hand, all the friends decided to complain in police, but Jesse stops them saying that police won't consider our report as it has not been 24 hours yet. One friend then shows them a picture of missing one. Just then a female friend says that I have seen same tattoo on wall of that party girl's parlor. She suggests that we should go there again. Jesse leaves calling them useless and dump. He goes to a bar and parties there. On other side, all the friend reach the parlor. They see that party girl so they ask her about their friends. 
The party girl replies that you're both friends are in basement. They all then go to basement, but suddenly party girl and the artist attacked everyone and all became unconscious. They came back to their senses and found themselves tied up. Come a friend shout a lot so they peeled off her skin and cut her throat with a knife. Amy cries a lot and begs them to leave all. Now we are shown that artist is going to a person. He gives him the tattooed human skin. The man then gives him a lot of money in return. Here we come to know that the artist works for a rich family and used to make tattoo on human skin for them and they used to frame those in their house. Now we see that Amy's friend somehow frees herself and attacks the party girl. She tries to free Amy too, but Amy stops her. She asks her to run and call for help. She runs away, but sees those same teenagers who were beaten by Jesse. They looked furious and wanted revenge. They started chasing her. While running, the artist spots them and he came to know that Amy's friends have escaped. The road was further blocked, so the boys captured her and started beating her brutally. There the artist came and shoots all the boys. Later he also kills Amy's friend. Their party girl wakes up and starts beating Amy. She says that everything happened because of you. She was about to pluck a tooth with wrench, but artist came. He stopped her and took Amy to a room. Amy cries a lot. The room was full of pictures and their artist tells her his secret. He says that many years ago people in Russia used to kill their enemies and make their pictures on their skin. The Russian king used to do the same and he gave a lot of money in return. On the other hand, Jesse comes to parlor with a girl. He meets the party girls and tells her to give them a tattoo. The party girl told them to sit. Now Jesse goes to basement and sees his dead friends. He then goes up and sees Amy tied up. She tells him that the artist has enslaved her. Jesse becomes angry and says that it's not good. We only had a deal to kill one of my friends, but you killed everyone. Here we come to know that Jesse is involved with artist. Now artist shows Amy a picture on which Jesse was drawn. Amy doesn't understand anything, so she asks artist. Now artist tells her that Jesse belongs to that same Russian king's family, and every year they bring people and make their pictures on their skin. Amy now understands everything. Jesse doesn't want Artist to kill Amy. Now Artist injects a pill in Jesse. He becomes unconscious. He tells Artist that my father will find you. On the other hand, the party girl also kills Jesse's friend. Amy was free now. She goes to party girl and cuts her throat. The artist caught Jesse. He asks Amy to kill him and take her revenge. But Amy tells him that he will have the same punishment as he gave to my friends. She then separates Jesse's skin from his body. Now we are shown a scene of some time later. The artist was sitting making tattoo on someone's neck. There some people came, and we see Amy assisting them. She welcomes them, and we see a picture of Amy on wall which was made on Jesse's skin. Amy was now working with the artist. She was mentally ill, and movie ends here.